Find the equivalent point load for the distributed load as shown. The first thing is to be very careful. Note what your units are. We've got 10 pounds per foot squared. It's this little tube. It tells you that 10, your 10 pounds per foot squared, is the slope of the line of your distributed load. So if I've got some triangle like this, my slope is 10. I have, in fact, a six foot triangle like that. With a slope of 10, that gives me 60 pounds per foot as the height of that triangle. Now the area of your triangle is one half base times height, which is one half times six times 60. This is in units of feet. This is in units of pounds per foot. Gives me 180 pounds. That's the first thing. The area under the distributed load is the equivalent point force. It acts at the centroid of your distributed load intensity diagram, which in this case is my triangle. It's a third of the way from the big end of the triangle. That's what you end up with for a right triangle like this. So in my triangle, I want to come a third of the way from the big end, or one third of L from here. That gives me four feet from the wall, or if you want to talk about it, two feet from the tip of the beam. Answer the question. You were asked to find the equivalent point load, so I'm going to say my equivalent point load is 60.0 pounds down. A force is a vector, so you've got to have units and direction at 4.00 feet from the wall. 